Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to be helping people with their PS4 problems. I'm joined by Coverly. Want to say hi, Coverly? All right, so if you guys have any questions regarding your PS4, if it's not working, go ahead and type it in the chat and we'll try to help you guys out. Okay, great. All right, so just uh, wait a little bit, see if we have any questions in the chat. I have my coffee right here. How about you? You have your tea or coffee? All right, yeah, so we're ready for you guys. RIP my PS4. All right, so what's wrong with your PS4? We'll try to help you out, Chris. How are you doing tonight, Chris? <laughs> All right. All right, so go ahead, go ahead and let us, yeah, let us know what's uh, going on with your PS4, Chris, and we'll try to help you out. Oh, I see. So I'm trying to get the chat in there. Uh, it's not working at the moment, but I'll keep working as uh, we're trying to help. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's just, I didn't want to, here, let me move this over here, move this to the right, there we go, that's a little bit better for me, all right, so I actually have a, a uh, got a bunch of questions through comments, uh, but um, I know we have at least one, okay, let me see, okay, we have one from uh, VV Momo, uh, YT, um, his PS4 is screwed up because of a loop. Okay, so what we need to know is what fix you tried already. If you look at my screen right here, you'll see a list of videos and cover the, I don't know if you could, uh, how's, uh, how's the quality on that? Are you able to see number one, two, three, and so on? Okay, so uh, Momo, uh, if you could tell us what number uh, on the screen you tried, uh, which fix you tried, and now kind of help us determine what your next step will be. Yeah, so Coverly, it seems like a lot of people are having this trouble where uh, their, their uh, PS4 gets stuck in the loop. So they try a fix, and then it just goes back to like the same thing over and over. So let's see if we get more info. Uh, let's yeah, and Chris, if you could let us know more about your PS4... I know last week we had one guy who went on here and said that there was like a red kind of like throbbing light uh, that kept coming from PS4. If you have that where the LED is red and it's like pulsing, then that does mean you have, you know, something wrong with your PS4 internally and that's something you'll be able to fix. All right. So you want to read that out loud, uh, Coverly? So anything to do with freezing usually has to do with like the PS4 database. So if you look at a uh, number, let's see, what is it here? The second video on here, number two. Right here, if you try that one, that could kind of re um, repair your uh, your database on your PS4, it, and that might help with the freezing. Uh, if you tried like a bunch of fixes and nothing's working at all, then you could try one of the more advanced fixes, which is like this video uh, number number six, which is it'll, it'll kind of like reinstall the PS4 system software. That particular one, you don't need a PC and you don't need a USB flash drive. You could try that one first, but do note that it will delete all the files on your PS4. So if you don't have uh, PlayStation Plus and don't have the cloud saves, some of your like single player games, uh, game saves won't be on there. And you just have to reinstall the games. Like I think you've done that re before, right, uh, Coverly?
I've actually, I've, I've come across a lot of people. Yeah, I've come across people that don't, but yeah, I think we both definitely recommend you get PS Plus. I mean, the, the free games every month alone is definitely worth it. And the backup, yeah. Yeah, and then if nothing, like, nothing works at all and you're, like, stuck, then the last, one of the last things you can try is video number seven. And this is going to kind of, like, walk you through using a USB flash drive. And you do need a, a PC to download the, the files you're going to need. And you do that, and it's going to reinstall the PS4 system software on your PS4 and get you up and running. Now, if that doesn't work still, then that probably means there's something wrong with your hard drive. And I do recommend that you replace your hard drive uh, with a new one. Any other tips uh, you have, Coverly? A screenshot sent pic yeah I'll look into that right well we check it first right right so I'm going to post up a recommended uh, hard drive for your PS4 that's going to be much better than what you have now. It's actually a solid state drive and you can get it for under 60 bucks. Um, so definitely you could try that and that should fix your problem for sure. Okay. Yeah, Logan, what's up? You having uh, problems with PS4? Let us know, uh, you know what uh, error messages are or what you're getting and we'll try to help. Yeah, so I posted this video to several people who left comments asking for help. You know, I can't help everybody through comments, so that's why I'm doing this live stream. So I'm hoping you guys come on here and we'll uh, go ahead and try to help you guys out. Yeah, if you guys want to try it while you're here, uh, you know, we're both here live, go ahead and try the, the fix it, you know, the fix in the video. And then that way, if you run into any problems, you can let us know in the chat. Probably way too much money. What is the hard drive? That's, I mean, it's either get a new hard drive for under 60 bucks or buy a new PS4. Take your pick, right? How much does a PS4 uh, Pro go for nowadays? Uh, yeah, so 500 is about 60 bucks, which I mean, I don't think you should go lower than 500, but you could go, you could get a 250 for about like 40, like 40, 44 bucks around there. Right. Right. Okay. So, right. So, PS4 Pro, uh, brand new, is three hundred and twenty bucks uh, on Amazon. So, you know, sixty bucks versus three hundred and twenty. Uh, I think you your PS4 is probably perfectly fine. You just need to replace the hard drive. If, like I said, if you tried all the the fixes and you're still getting problems, that's when you go ahead and replace that hard drive. That. Okay, yeah, I don't think you should go lower than that. So I'll, let me see, I'll post one is like the cheapest one that we recommend because, you know, you don't want to just get any hard drive because then you're going to just run into more problems. 
So let me type it. Okay, so I just posted it right there. That's a 250 gig. Probably shouldn't go any lower than that. I know people have problems when they go. I think they put in like a 160. And the PS4 will actually complain. It'll tell you it's too small. I mean, well, these these games are like 60 gigs nowadays, right? All right, if uh, we got other people watching, you know, make sure to hit that like um, under the the video that will really help us out. All right, guys, so go ahead and ask your questions in the chat. Um, that's a way we can help you guys out. Uh, I'm sorry, you covered it. What were you going to say? Let me see if I could bring that up because there was a lot. There's just like so many uh, for me to answer. So maybe I'll just go through those and then um, maybe someone who's going to watch the stream later can... can um, get their question answered here okay so yeah a lot of people complaining about that set that 7.0 update or the 7.02 like screwing up their ps4 and yeah we've seen a lot of that let's see So also one thing that uh, some people don't realize is that um, the first thing they try, uh, for example, uh, the videos you see here, a lot of people will try, will start with uh, video number seven, which is like reinstalling the system software with a USB. Uh, but that's not the first one you should try. So if you're having problems, uh, start with, probably I would say start with a video on number three. That one just allows you to install the ps4 update through the internet and you don't need a usb you don't need a computer or anything like that and that one does not uh wipe the files off your ps4 so definitely try you know on this video you'll see a playlist down there which is what you're seeing here on the screen and you know start from the top you know the first video you see there those i think all the way up to um up to video five none of those will delete anything on your on your ps4 so try those first five videos first. If it doesn't work, then you move on to the more advanced, you know, six and on. All right. Um, okay, I think he commented it back. Uh, Momo, uh, what do you say here? What? Which particular thing? The one I was just talking about right now? Okay, we'll still freeze. That's a problem. Okay, so if it's freezing, um, again, freezing on your PS4, I would recommend you do video number two, which is this. Uh, is that a little bit better to look at? So video number two, uh, rebuild your database. I don't think it will still freeze. I mean, unless there's something like physically wrong with your PS4 then I, I think a hard drive might fix it. Yeah, if you ever tried all these fixes you see on the screen here, still not working, I would say the next step would be paying, you know, 60 bucks, 40 bucks for a new hard drive instead of spending, you know, 360 for a new PS4, you know. Okay, so I recommend that you update uh, using an Ethernet cable. So let me see if I have one here. One sec. Yeah, I don't think I have one here, but uh, basically uh, 
you plug in the Ethernet cable to the back of your PS4, and then the other end to your to your uh, internet router, and that's gonna download the uh, update much faster than over Wi-Fi. You don't want to do it over Wi-Fi. And I think in in a safe mode, I'm not sure if Wi-Fi even works. It may or may not. But I know for sure that you, using an Ethernet cable wired, that works for sure because I've done it myself. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, definitely go ahead and uh, try that. Okay, cupboard is still there. Yeah. So okay, he's gonna try it with a, with an Ethernet cable, which is yeah. A lot of people are asking, uh, and that was one of the other comments that I had a lot was uh, that when they tried the update, they asked them to connect a. Uh, uh, a LAN cable or something like that, or connect through LAN, and basically that's what you need to do. You need to get your, yourself an Ethernet cable, and then connect it to your to the back of your PS4, and then to your internet router, and that will like work for sure. If you're trying to use Wi-Fi, you know <laughs> your mileage may vary. Okay, you're you're welcome, Momo. Right. Which one, the pro or the that? I'm not sure. That's true, especially you know these the PS4 has a mechanical hard drive, uh, which I heard the PS the PS5 is gonna have a solid state, right? Right. Okay. Well, that's yeah. I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, because I remember I had the PS3 before then. Sounds about right. I mean, but the Pro, I mean, I got the Pro, what, like two years ago, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it was out, but I, re I didn't really need it until, I think, what was it, Call of Duty? That's where I, s I really started noticing where, like, oh, you know, it's kind of too slow. both so it looked a lot better and then it performed a lot better and especially once I uh, installed the solid state drive well you drink your uh, straight black or what Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I I can't drink black coffee. I need to put at least some sugar in it. Okay, I, yeah, we have a question. Go ahead. What do you think, Coverly? <laughs> I know my answer. I want to see what you say. I agree. I agree. Just, you know, main router is going to be the way you want to go. I mean, it's just to do the update. I mean, if your PS4 isn't working, let's get it up and running first, you know? Um, yeah, I'll say main router for sure. Yeah. 
Right. So, uh, okay. So hopefully we answered your question. No dance. We have another question. You want to go ahead and read that one? Uh, all right. We played Fortnite last week, actually, right? Uh, let's see. I have a USB storage device and don't know what to do. Hmm. You know, I've never done it myself, but I think it does. I mean, have you done it? I think any USB storage drive, it can do it. Yeah. So, but you know, I, I don't think Fortnite is that big. I would put it on your main drive. Um, but yeah, if you're running out of space, I mean, just do what, like, you know, Coverly and I did and just buy a new solid state drive. I think I posted up uh, the recommended PS4 replacement uh, hard drive up above. That's a 500 gig and, it's pro you know, it might be bigger than what yours came with. Uh, definitely recommend a one terabyte if you can afford it. You know, they're, they're pretty cheap now, but you know, one thing you don't want to be running out of space, especially these, these, uh, game updates nowadays, they're like what, 60 gigs each covered you, right? Oh, that's not big at all. Yeah. Compared to like modern warfare stuff like that. Oh, there you go. But yeah, Anthony, if, you, if you're having a specific problem where like it's not letting you do it, like let us know and, and we could try to help. I'm not sure what your question is. Yeah. Yeah, I got to try that. Maybe I'll like download Warframe or something <laughs> and uh, see if it runs off of the, the uh, external drive. No, uh, we should try it. We should definitely try it for one of our game nights. It's free. Right. And it's free. <laughs> All right. Any more questions here? We're only here until 9, so make sure to ask your questions down in the chat and ask it now while we're here. I think I, I, I think I've seen it where, if you go to settings, it allows you to transfer from, you know, a game from one storage device to another. I've seen that, but I don't know if like when you install the game, like if you put in the CD or whatever, if it installs it, you know, if it tells you where you want it. I I don't know the answer to that, just because I haven't tried it. Which could happen. I've had that happen so many times, right? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows it, um, you know, in here, comment and you know, down in the chat, let us know. Maybe you guys know more than us. Let me see if I could come up with some of the other questions while we wait. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a video on how to do that. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll make one. 
You're right. Yeah. So that's a great idea. I should I should try playing like Fortnite with it on a off a crappy USB drive. See how it performs. Right. Okay. Let me see. Any other? Here's an interesting one. I wasn't quite sure how to answer this one. So this guy has two PS4 Pros with the same account, and then he wants to know if. The you know how you have your PlayStation Plus if the data online will be the same. You, you know you know what I mean. Okay, this guy has two PS4s. Let's say PS4s, and he's using the same account to log into both, and he has PlayStation Plus. His question is, will the cloud saves be the same for both systems, or how does that work? Right. How does it sync? Or do you need two PlayStation Plus accounts, even though you're using this, you know, is it tied to your account? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I do. I think, I think I remember something like that where you have to say one is your primary, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, because then I can, I can, you know, you can let me your PS4, and I can log in with my account, load all my games, and then lend it, lend it to you, right? And then you can have all the games that I have. Okay. Yeah, so just reading some of the questions. Um, yeah, a lot of people seem to be having problems when they're downloading the update uh, over Wi-Fi. So it's either too slow, it takes a really long time. So I think uh, the recommendation for that is like we talked earlier is to use an Ethernet cable connected directly from your PS4 to your internet router. So if your, your PS4 is in your bedroom, you know, just temporarily connect uh, your PS4 to wherever your internet router is, like the living room and so on. Uh, just to get that update installed to get your PS4 up and running. And then you can use, you know, Wi-Fi for, you know, updating your games or downloading games uh, once you're back online. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I made sure to like unregister mine because I actually sold my my P when I got my PS4 uh, Pro, I sold my old one to GameStop and I got it like a good deal, and so yeah, it's like the I made sure like you know I, I went on Google and searched like what, how to properly you know unregister and yeah, it was one of the things I had to do to uh, unregister my PS4. Uh, that yeah. Right. And then, yeah, that, that was a, I think I had another guy ask me a similar question. What if you have two PS4s, you know, do I need two, you know, PS plus accounts? And, you know, I ha I don't have a multiple PS4s, but uh, I don't know if you do, but I don't. So I haven't, I haven't had a chance to try that. Wait, can you just use a guest? Mm -hmm. 
Right? Oh, that sucks. That would totally suck. I, I think that must have been back in the old days. I don't think they would do that nowadays. Or, yeah. I think, what was it? I think Fortnite has a split screen and I forgot what other games. Modern Warfare? Okay, well, I mean, we'll wait another five minutes. If uh, we don't get any more questions, we'll just end the live stream early. Uh, dude, I use it. I got into the beta. I can't talk about it. I have a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> No, but it's pretty good. I, I, I tried it with uh with uh when we're playing um what is it, blackout? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean visual quality is not like excellent or anything, but the gameplay is really good. So if you got like a crappy old like laptop or something that you want to use as a gaming PC, you could totally do it with that. Totally do it with that. No. So basically, you have to um, kind of show them that you own the game. So what it does is like, it'll say, okay, well, you own Modern Warfare. Okay, log into battle.net and then, you know, kind of authorize us to check. And then they add the game as part of your account. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so I think it varies per game. Something like that, because I know I, I added like, I added, uh, you know, the Call of Duty, I added some other games, and they were from different things, you know, one was from Battle.net, one was from something else, and I was able to add all those different ones. Um, yeah, totally. I tried it on my, uh, on my 2011 MacBook Pro, like that thing's like old, you know, and it worked fine. It worked. I was playing games on it. I was like, "Wow, you know," because Macs usually, you're, you know, they're not good for for games, right? Uh, but yeah, because I was, you know, using the um, what was it that um, the GeForce, whatever it's called, GeForce Now or something like that. Um, yeah, definitely worth looking into. Um, I don't know, uh, what is that one Google's doing, Stadia or? Yeah, I haven't looked much into that, but I I got lucky with the G Force. I got into the beta. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so right now I'm not getting like charged, you know, because it's in beta. But I think once it comes out, I don't know what the the subscription fee is gonna be or anything. But um, okay, but yeah, what's what's cool is you're playing on their servers, so your ping is like really low, and like the game plan, and that's why the gameplay is so great. The ping is really low, and you're probably running these like on like these super end, you know, PC machines or workstations or whatever, because they, they it runs pretty good. And basically, you know what 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 lags is like, you know, your network connection. You know, if you're getting any lag, it's like the network connection from their server to yours, but you know, from them to the game server, you know, like to the Fortnite servers or whatever, so it'd be like super fast.
You know, that's a good question. Unfortunately, the only games I tried were, were all the ones that had, like, the online saves, you know? Or, you know, like, multiplayer stuff. So I don't know the answer. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. But you're asking, like, a, sing a single-player game, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it stores it like you have a little cloud account, you know, a little cloud savings account. Uh, oh, we have a question. So, the, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if your PS4 is freezing up, yeah, first check to see if you have the latest update, which is, should be 7.02. You go to settings to check. If you don't, then you're going to want to do the video number three that's on the screen now. But if you already have the latest update, uh, try rebuilding your database. That That's going to help with freezing issues. Because I know a lot of people after the 7.0 and the 7.02 update, their PS4 was just freezing and lagging. Like even mine had that. It, it was like a little bit like lagging. And so I had to do the, the, I had to rebuild the PS4 database and that fixed it. And so I would say, if it, you know, it depends what you mean by freezing. So I don't know if like, if it's like a complete, it's not working, or like if it's like, you know, like mine was able to just like pause and then it continue, it'd be like lagging basically. So you could try the, the rebuild database. Now, if you still have problems, then I would say uh, do the, uh, basically do the, the reinitialize, uh, you know, reinstall your PS4 system software, which is video number uh, six on your screen. But note that that will, that will delete your data. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's the second one right here. And basically, you go into safe mode. Let me see if I can click into it and if it'll show. So, re no, you will not lose your information with this video, the rebuild database one. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's uh, video number two. Uh, basically, um, you can kind of see like right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, it gives you all these options. It's going to be one of the the options says rebuild database. After you go to safe mode, I think you already know uh, how to go to safe mode. You basically hold down the power button until you hear two beeps and then connect your your PS4 controller with the original cable that came with your PS4. Uh, you have to connect it with the cable and then go down to option. I think it's like one, two, three, four, option five, which is rebuild database. And just run that, and that should uh, help you speed up your PS4. <clears throat> okay, he has a follow-up question. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, that's like one you don't you don't ever want to unplug your PS4 watts on. That's how I, I started this mess to begin with. I did that one time and then I, I got this error. You see in video one right here where it says like cannot start the PS4. I literally just I unplugged the wrong wire when I was like rewiring some stuff. I unfortunately unplugged the PS4 and I got this message that says like cannot start the PS4 connected and it would just reboot. And it always had that same message. Luckily, it was an easy fix to fix that one. And that's video number one. Yeah, it's the only way to restart it. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> 
for 10 minutes. So yeah, I think he said I think he's saying he fixed it and so far it's running smooth now, but he had trouble before trying one of these fixes. I hope I'm I'm getting this right. Yeah. Yeah, and if anybody has any uh, additional questions, make sure to type it in the chat. And if you guys do me a favor, hit the like button on this uh, video. That'll really help me out. I wonder if he was using Wi-Fi to do the download, because I've heard some people like it took hours to do the update. Uh, yeah, I guess they have like really bad Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know. I think it's quite big. I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe you can Google it, but the seven point two update was was kind of kind of big. It was one of those like mandatory updates where like if you don't install it, you can't play any game. You can't do any other updates. Okay, so that's the first time I get it. Okay, so right now you're not getting any more errors, right? There we go. Yep, we're here. You able to hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me see if I can find that website because it's like ridiculous. <laughs> we need to talk about it right here. Let me see. I'm loading it. All right. Let's see. You're able to see it on the screen right now? Let me see if I can change it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a little bit delayed on my my end of the screen. I, I think I need to change that so that it's not so delayed. Uh, okay, yeah, it's on the screen now. So, yeah, if you look at this website, just like, then you to have like a download update here, you know, like right in the middle in big letters. Download this update if you're, you know, try to install like a fresh or if you just try to install the, you know, just the regular update file, which is kind of useless. So you're better off installing the the full update file, which I've said many times down here, which is this one, complete system uh, software file. That's the one you want to use, because if you use this uh, regular update file, most of the time that's not going to fix it for you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I usually respond to comments. It's just that sometimes I get like 40, 50 messages like in one day and I can't respond to everybody. All right, we have another question from another user. This makes a weird sound. Okay, so I'll, I'll read this one. Hello, my PS4 makes a weird sound. It's like the radiation sound on Rust. I don't think I ever placed, played Rust, but um, do you know what that weird sound might be, uh, Coverly? Uh, I 
<laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, maybe I should do that. Yeah. I'm just responding to uh, to where he's. Uh, no, it's like on the back. Okay, so it's probably the the fan that vents out the hot air from your PS4. So if it's, uh, let me see if it's making a. You said it's making a weird sound. It's probably your fan that's going bad. Now, I don't know. Uh, I have you uh, re done any replacement uh, stuff on your PS4 coverly, where you open up the PS4? Okay, I think we lost Coverly, uh, but okay, there you. Yeah, the connection is a little bad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, I was just saying that the uh, it might be the internal fan. So I don't know. If that's something that I would recommend he fixes himself, or just tries to take it to a repair shop, or maybe get just get another PS4. What do you think? I open it to clean the fan. The front one. Okay, yeah. So I was going to suggest get it, uh, buy an air canister and just go at it with the air canister. Because it sounds like it's a fan issue. But it's coming from the back. So yeah. and the and Let me check it. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture of it. Yeah, so I, I see that it has um, like a fan. It's probably where the right above the CPU of the PS4 or or the graphics. Uh, it's a, it looks like a little turbine. So I don't know if you clean that fan out, uh, but that's the one I would try to clean out because those can get pretty nasty with like hair and all that stuff. But yeah, if you open up your PS4 and you're able to get to that fan and, and you can find a replacement, you know, I would check on eBay and you might be able to uh, get a replacement fan and replace it yourself if you're comfortable uh, with doing that. But yeah, if you're, if you're hearing noise like that, it's probably coming from the fan. Okay, so database... Yes. So, uh, yeah, Rehi has a question about what does he need to do the, with the database. The answer is on on this video in the description, there is a playlist, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now, or you should see it in just a sec. And basically, you want to follow the steps in video number two, which is PS4 Rebuild Database. And you follow those instructions to rebuild your database. Okay, we have a new question from BH Fist. You want to read that one? His frame rates, okay, his frame rate. Yeah, so same thing. I would try to rebuild the database. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's video number two that you see on the screen right now. Okay. Okay. Yep, same thing. <laughs> Video number two, rebuild the database. Yeah, the one you see. Yeah. Yeah, in the description of this video, show more, click show more, and you'll see a, a playlist. Take you to this screen here. Click on video number two, and that will help you to rebuild your your uh, database. That should fix stuff like your your PS4 is lagging, it's freezing.
the menus are very slow. That's another symptom that your very your menus are moving very slow. You need to rebuild your PS4 database. Okay, what's next? Okay, so when you do that video number two, if you follow my instructions for rebuild database, it will not delete anything. So that one's safe to do. It's not going to delete anything. You don't need a backup. Um, but yeah, there's the answer to that. All right, you're welcome, Rehi. Um, come back if you need additional help. And uh, if, yeah, if you can hit like, the like button on this video on your way out, that, that'd be really great. <laughs> if you need hep <laughs> your L doesn't work at your keyboard <laughs> yeah give us more info I'm also, let me see. He's, yeah, I'm also having issues with my PS4. Or oh, yeah, you already got it. Yeah. You know what happened? He probably got it with like a slightly older version of the PS4 system software. And I'm telling you, when he updated to that 7.0 or 7.02, it probably screwed up his system, just like everybody else has been commenting on my videos. Um, so yeah, I, w I would try first, uh, if you still hear it, MNML, try video number three on, on your screen you see right here. There's a playlist on this video. Click on show more and click on the link for the playlist and then click on video number three, which is how to reinstall PS4 system software without losing data. Uh, basically tells you how to go into safe mode and install the PS4, uh, the updated file. Uh, through the internet and you don't need a computer you don't need a flash drive or anything for this one it's not gonna you're not gonna lose any data so yeah video number three should fix your uh, problem in my now do we have any other uh, questions on there covered right Okay, sure. So if you guys have any questions, last few minutes, we can answer them right now. So I see there's a new comment. Okay, so what, what cycle what you could try is if you look at the playlist, which is um, in the description down in this video, Click on the playlist and try video number six. That one doesn't require you to have a USB. It allows you to install the, the system software without the need of a USB. So uh, give uh, video number six a try uh, if, you, if you're not able to get a USB uh, or, or access to a computer. All right, Emmanuel, you're welcome. And uh, thanks for dropping by. And if you can hit like on the video, that'd be really great. All right, last chance for some questions, or else uh, we'll call it for the night. But yeah, I think I think like this is good. Like you said, a, a good rush of questions towards the end, right? No, well, well, we'll talk about it offline, and we'll figure. Yeah, we'll figure out when the next uh, live stream will be. Uh, yeah, it all depends if people still need help. You know, like I said, I'm willing to do it as long as people are willing to come on here and and ask for questions. Uh, you know, I, I just can't a answer like a hundred comments like you know it, every day. There's no way. So I'd rather do it here, and then I, we got through quite a bit of uh, issues resolved here. I would think so. I'm really glad we did this live stream. And thanks again, Coverly, for, for helping out with the live stream and moderating as well.
Right. Yeah, and share this video with your friends. It might help some of them out. All right? <laughs> there it is. Let's <laughs> refill the database. <laughs> yep. Rebuild the database. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. On behalf of uh, Coverty and myself, I'd like to thank you all, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.